Jess Constantino, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, my beautiful YouTube family. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jess Constantino, and today I wanted to talk to you guys about my post-surgery. So I promised you guys that I would take you on the journey with me to do my surgery. And while I started that, um, things during my surgery did not go as planned, which, you know, I mean, things never really go as planned. My mom started to record some footage of the waiting room when she was waiting for me in surgery. But then after she recorded for a little bit, she got distracted by bad news. So uh, in the middle of, well, towards the end of the surgery, the doctor came out and told her that my retina had detached. And that was, that was devastating news to my mom and to myself. Um, even though I was not aware of it, my mom was, and she knew that I was gonna be very disappointed. So essentially when I had my eye infection in December, my retina detached completely, uh, which is why most of my vision went away. And they were not able to fix it during surgery. So they tried to smooth it back out and get it to lay against the, all, the wall of the eye like it's supposed to, but unfortunately it did not heal that way and it's still damaged. So I did not get any vision from my surgery as I was hoping. Uh, my vision is the same as it has been the last eight months and it will be this way for a while, uh, at least for the time being in the near future. I don't have any current plans of any other surgeries. However, the doctor did talk about uh, in the future once I've healed, possibly doing kind of a new medical advancement for my right eye and also they're talking about uh, cleaning up my left eye a little bit to see if I can get some vision out of it. But as of right now, I only have light perception in my right eye and I have a little hand motion. I can count fingers a couple feet from my face and my left eye. My left eye, I do have readable vision where I can read something if it's really large and it's on my nose. Uh, I can see it, but it's very blurry still. My detail is not very good for my left eye. Um, it tends to always be blurry, but there was a point where I did see 2200 in that eye, which means that I could see the eye chart essentially, which would be fantastic if I could see the eye chart again. So it would be great if he could clean up the left eye and get me some vision out of it. But as of right now, I'm pretty much blind. So I am just trying to adjust to my life with this little of vision. Uh, I have been adjusting for several months and that is why I stopped posting for a while because it was incredibly stressful going through this adjustment period. I not only for myself, my entire family is having to learn how to adjust to me being blind. Um, you know, my mobility has changed, the way I eat has changed, the way I do pretty much every daily task has changed. Um, I think the thing I get the most frustrated with is my phone because I cannot read my phone the same way that I used to. And I have not learned how to use voiceover to the full extent yet. So that is on my to-do list, I am going to take classes to learn voiceover better. I also am going to get with a blind attorney friend of mine and he is going to teach me some braille so that I can get more uh, acclimated to braille again. So all of these things I've had in the past, but I've only had them to a certain level because my vision was better so I didn't have to rely on things like voiceover and braille. Uh, where now I do have to rely on them because I don't have very much usable vision anymore. So I am trying to do those things, make those adjustments. Uh, I feel like my eating has improved. I feel like my mobility has improved, although you will notice I still get bruises. I, I still run into things. Um, I also don't slow down. I, I go very fast all the time and that is my biggest problem. If I slowed down, I would not run into things, I would not trip, I would not have as many accidents as I do, but because I don't use my cane around the house and I don't slow down when I walk, I tend to have accidents and run into things. So um, so I tend to have bruises a lot. But my mobility in general has improved quite a lot. Um, when I first lost my vision 
in January, I was having a hard time even walking down the road in a straight line and not weaving back and forth. Now I am really good at like hugging the hugging the line of the grass or you know like staying on the the, the side of the curb. Uh, I'm a lot better at staying in a straight line now than I was seven months ago. Uh, when I eat now, I don't scoop food off into my lap. I'm able to <laughs> keep it on the plate. Um, so that is improving. Um, and I'm getting better at the clock method, knowing where my food is on my plate. Uh, so that all has improved. I feel like I'm getting better at helping Cooper with things like doing his eye medicine. When I first lost my vision, it was hard to do his eye medicine again because I can't see and I didn't want to poke him in the eye. But I've started doing it again and for the most part, it's fine. Um, every once in a while, I might put too many drops in his eye, but for the most part, it's okay. So most of my daily tasks and things that I need to do as mom or as a massage therapist or as a business owner, I can do fine. Uh, with my business, it's really hard with my phone because not all the apps have accessibility really well with vision or with the, with the voiceover. Uh, not very many apps work very well with it, I've noticed, <laughs> at least in my experience. Um, and again, I don't know how to use voiceover to its best ability yet, so maybe in the future I will be able to do more with my apps. But for my business, it's really hard for me sometimes to send out mass texts to people or messages to clients because it takes a lot longer to see to do those small details or to do it with voiceover. It takes a lot longer. So mostly I just get frustrated with not being able to see my phone. Uh, but. I'm hoping in time that that too will get easier and I will adjust more to voiceover and I'll get more proficient at using voiceover and that just the system will be easier and better for me. But as of now, that is pretty much how things are going. Um, I have been out of surgery for three weeks. I am healing. I am not in as much pain anymore. Um, I think the most amount of pain that I'm still in, I mean, it was a really hardcore surgery for me. Uh, they spent almost four hours in the back of my eye trying to clean up the blood and clean out scar tissue and smooth my retina out. So a lot of the like sharp shooting pain on the front of the eye from surgery is gone, but there's still a lot of deep, achy, uncomfortable pain like around my eye and like behind my eye uh, that hasn't completely gone away yet. So hopefully in the next week or so that'll get better. But I think that I am healing really well. I think that overall the surgery went well. I am stable. My eye is stable now. I'm not in an emergency situation anymore where my eye is collapsing on me, um, which is really great. It has pressure. They took the glaucoma shunt out of it um, that was causing it to collapse. And now it has more pressure in it, so it's not collapsing anymore. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's like not sunken back into my head as much as it has been uh, in other videos. And the only other thing is the doctors asked me to wear glasses. They have no prescription in them. They're just plastic, essentially glasses that I got off of Amazon. Um, the only reason the doctors wanted me to have glasses is so that I can protect my eyes from anything hitting it <laughs> or any damage. Um, especially the retina specialist asked me to wear the glasses so that I could protect my left retina because it's my good eye now and if anything happens to my left retina, I'll be in the same position as my right. So he really wanted to protect my left retina and my cornea specialist wanted me to protect my new capro on my right eye. So my new artificial cornea on my right eye. So my new look <laughs> is these cute little glasses. Um, they are pink and green. Uh, my parents ordered them for me on Amazon, but they're just, they're pink and green and I think they're flowers is what they said. Uh, so I have a few different pairs. They bought me like four or five different pairs uh, so that I can wear different ones with different outfits, I guess. Uh, but I like these because I like pink and green. <laughs> so anyways, I that is all of my updates for today. I just wanted to let you guys know what was going on with me. There are some pictures uh, and that you can at least see kind of me after surgery because that was really all my mom and I did. We were we were very disappointed after my surgery, and so we just didn't 
we didn't do the recordings that we planned to do for my YouTube channel. Uh, so I'm really sorry about that. But I hope you guys will understand. And because I have had many, many, many surgeries in my life for my eyes, I'm sure there will be other ones. And I will make sure that I document those for you guys and you guys can come with me on those surgeries and be a part of them. Uh, this one just was a very intense emergency hardcore surgery and it ended up with results that I wasn't particularly happy with. I'm very disappointed, but you know, I, I still have to go on and continue living. I can't stop living. I still have a kid to take care of. I have a job and I got bills to pay. So whether or not I like it, it is my life and um, I just have to learn to live with the amount of vision that I have now. And maybe in the future, I will be able to get more. But until then, we're just going to keep going because that's all you can do. Uh, and you know, I, I've i learned to live with low vision and even though it's hard and I am mourning the loss of my vision still and I had a really hard breakdown on Saturday. I kind of got really sad and, and was not my happy-go-lucky self that I normally am on Saturday, but um, I, I think that's normal. I am just trying to give myself a break and adjust the best that I can, understand that my family's adjusting, that I'm adjusting, and that it's just gonna take time. Um, but, you know, I'm not going to stop living because I went blind. I still want to live my life, and I still want to show other people that life can still be good even if you have a disability. You can still live a full, happy, healthy life, and that's what I intend to do. I want to give that message to my kid. Um, because he's visually impaired too, and I don't want him to ever feel like if he loses his vision that his life's over. Um, I want him to feel encouraged and grateful every day that he has his vision, but know that if he ever loses it, life goes on and that you can still be happy and have a good life. So that's what I intend to do, and I hope all of you will come along and experience this journey with me as I go through life now as a newly, <laughs> newly more blind person, <laughs> more blind, <laughs> more blind than I was before. I also wanted to update you guys because I was waiting for my surgery. They weren't, they had me on hold for a guide dog, but yesterday I had a second home interview with the guide dog school and again, I passed. Um, they reevaluated my mobility level to make sure that my speed hadn't changed. My speed had changed, my mobility had changed from before, uh, so it was good that we reevaluated my mobility. But as of today, I should be back on the guide dog list. So hopefully it will not be too much longer before I get another guide dog. That's my hope. Um, I really, really want a guide dog. I could use it so much right now. I prefer using a guide dog to a cane. So I really hope that I can get a guide dog soon, but um, I will let you guys know when I get my acceptance and when I'm going to training for my guide dog and when I will be getting that dog. So stay tuned for that and I will let you know what other surgeries, if any, I have in the future coming up. Uh, but as of right now, I am just dealing with life. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and got something out of it. I, if you did, please don't forget to leave it a thumbs up. If you have any questions for me, if you want to ask me anything about my surgery or my recovery or anything like that, or my plans for the future, you can leave it in the comments below and I will try to answer all of those. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Yes, sir. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I, if you want to follow me on Just Constantino Shorts, if you want to follow me on any of my social media, uh, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, TikTok. You can find all of those in the description in the links below. And if you haven't already and you'd like to uh, support Cooper and I and make sure we can continue to create content, please join my Patreon at patreon.com forward slash Jess Constantino. Thank you so much for watching again. I love you guys. Take care. Love you. <laughs> Fine Pineapple Production. Yeah. yeah.